These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Mass this bank holiday, Monday morning, here at St. Mary Calston. Today we commemorate the feast day of the Apostles St. Philip and St. James. And today's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Lady Helena Elliot. This is one of our foundation Masses. First, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. You opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, we gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles, Philip and James. Grant us, through their prayers, a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. From this I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, the gospel that you received and in which you are firmly established, because the gospel will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preach to you. Believing anything else will not lead to anything. Well then, in the first place I taught you what I have been taught myself, namely that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared first to Cephas and secondly to the twelve. Next he appeared to more than five hundred of the brothers at the same time, most of whom were still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me too. It was as though I was born when no one expected it. The word of the Lord. That word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day after day he takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Lord, let us see the Father, and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say that I see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak upon myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To mark our celebration of the feast of the Apostles Philip and James, let us pray with faith and confidence for what we need. We pray for the Christian community throughout the world. The true, true the heritage received from the apostles. It may remain faithful to the worship of God and the service of all the brothers and sisters. For the leaders of the nation, that they may be enabled to judge wisely and govern with care for the people in their charge, and in particular for the poor. For all who are engaged in care of the infirm and handicapped, that they may generously share Christ's love with those in their care. Let us remember all Christians involved in the media of communication. May their voices echo that of Christ, and may the images they project promote an understanding of prejudice. Thoughts turn to the those who suffer for their faith. May the example of the apostles be their inner strength in every crisis. Lord our God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavour in the service of your people, and may our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the Apostles, Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
hogy egy csapja a hat. Ez a két lány körül órába, egy hét is rajt, mint csap. Egy hét csőd is rajt, mint csap, tehát gyűjti ember salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Almighty Father, and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and with that hymn we attend. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to the setting, a few of that place may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said, bless him, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Do I 
existed too, and the whole was taking to you as a happy prophet life, a kind of mission to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, where you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you as God as you are, we should be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, above Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my door shall be healed. Let us pray. Purify our mind, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. God give you grace to follow his saints. 
to faith and truth and love. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you all. Amen. Go on proclaiming the gospel by your love. Thanks be to God.